hello and good evening everyone welcome to this new video from extreme trader in this video i had to explain um, a myth that, that we have in forex it says always that a trend is your friend uh, when anybody want to learn forex they explain to him this myth and unfortunately so many people convinced about it because they just see the history of the trade they just see the history of the charts they just look at it and they say yeah you are right trend is really a friend but is it really correct I had to explain in this video that this is one of the big lies in Forex uh, I believe in Forex there are three big lies one of them is trend is a friend the other two I will talk about them uh, about them later one of them is, is the stop loss by the way so a trend is a friend so let me tell you the trend when you believe that it is your friend you need to remember these three elements or three uh, problems you have when you are following the trend. A trend might easily get break out. And what do you mean by that? So this is the chart here. Any trend can actually be breaking out. Now remember I'm on the daily chart here in this video. And what they want to teach the beginners about the trend is a friend is they just uh, draw the trend like that. And they tell them, look at that, trend is a friend, the direction is going up, and so on. You can just clone this one here, like uh, this for example, and if you zoom out, you can say, yeah, the trend is going up. And if you want to zoom in more, you can say like this. You can just throw the trend like that, and like that. And the beginner, or the learner, the person who learning, he will see this and he will say, yeah, that's true, trend is a friend. But you are just showing him the back history. You are not showing him the real time trading. In the real time trading, you cannot really do that because the trend, this trend will be breaking out the whole time. Actually, all of the time, the trend will be breaking out. Because now, for example, if you want to follow this one, this one, because remember you are on the daily chart. So you are drawing the trend like that. Now imagine this all, this all didn't happen. All right, all of that is not here yet. And now you are just drawing this trend line here like that. And you say, okay, now I want to follow the trend because the trend is my friend. So this is a downtrend and I'm on the daily chart. Meaning if I go to the four hour chart or one hour chart, look at that massive downtrend I having here. But is it really what you want to do? Think about it here we have this resistance and we can see that the, the chart or the candles has reversed many times on this resistance now the general direction is down but the problem when you say trend is a friend do you really think uh, you should actually follow the trend because for example let's say now I am for example uh, right here okay now I'm trapped in this downtrend and I'm here and I say, okay, trend is a friend. Let me now pl place sell order here because the trend is going down. And what's happening is actually the market is going up. You expect it to go down, but it's going up against you. So let's see how many pips you would have lose if you sell here. That is about 24 pips. Since you are a scalper, that is not really going to work. So the idea here is when you have a trend, when you have a trend, and you see the market actually bouncing inside this trend it's easily to be breaking out any moment and of course the normal behavior when you have a trend when it's breaking out there will be a retest for the level meaning the market will retest this broke out level and then it might break out or it might actually continue to go back in that trend so when you say trend is a friend that is actually a false statement because trend is never a friend the trend is just showing you the general direction of the market but still it's not enough for you to make any trades or uh, trust the direction the direction for example um, let's let's just do something now now tell me the direction of this trend it's neutral this one is neither going up or down let me check something this one for example now you say that trend is going up so I will draw my trend line like that now since that trend is a friend I should always follow it right 
meaning I should only place by. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I'm not. When you are saying that this trend is my friend, you will only look for buy setups. But the question, do you really want to place buy here? Now remember I'm on the one hour chart. Go to the one to the daily chart. Now let's see. What do we have in the daily chart? The daily chart is telling us so much about this level. We have here a strong resistance. This resistance is, has been uh, a support level in the past, in 20th, 20th of March. Now the same level now is becoming a resistance. So now there is a pretty good chance that the market will actually fall down. And since I'm on the daily chart, this falls might be about 100 pips, which is way too much. But on the one hour chart, I'm following the trend. The trend is a friend. I need to follow the trend and go with the buy option. That will not work because you are not analyzing the market correctly. What you are seeing now on the one hour chart is this resistance has been bounced already two times and now you have a double top. So most likely what will gonna happen now, this trend is gonna be breaking out. So again, saying that a trend is a friend, in my opinion, is not so accurate. So my trend might easily get broke out. The trend is never in continuation movement. Now, you oh shit, hold on. Yeah. Oh shit. Now, you say that the trend is uh, going up, but is it really going up all the time? For example, here it's going down. Now this is a downtrend. This is what we call a pivot or, a, or a, actually a pullback. So the market has reversed here. It's making like a flag and then it's going up, making another flag or a pullback and then continue to go more up. So you have many trends here, not just one. You have a tr downtrend here. You have an uptrend in general and you have another downtrend here. And remember, you were in the past in a very strong downtrend which has suddenly become a very strong uptrend. So if I want to follow your statement that the trend is my friend, I should have placed sell here. Because let's imagine all of that didn't happen. The movement of this trend can never be always down. Now you say trend is a friend, so of course it's my friend. It has to continue going more down. Of course that is wrong. The market is never in the same direction always. So it's not enough for you to just follow the trend blindly and think that you can actually win all of your trades. Trend is varying between time frames. Now, when you say trend is a friend, now, for example, I'm on the one hour chart and I am on uptrend. All right, go to the 15 minute time frame. And now what you have is actually neutral. It's neither up or neither down. Go to the daily chart. You are actually now on a downtrend. So that the down the trend is varying between time frames. Now the question, which uh, one should you follow? Is it the bigger time frame? Is it the smaller time frame? Now the answer, of course, is the bigger time frame. But again, what I'm trying to tell you in this video that trend is not your friend. You should not just follow the trend blindly, especially on the bigger time frames, because on the bigger time frames, on daily time frame, one reversal on the candle can cost you too much. Just one reversal. So let's say, for example, here, this is downtrend. Does anybody have any argument about that? Can we all agree that this is a downtrend? Good. So this is a downtrend. Okay. Now let's see on this downtrend you are talking about. Let's see this candle here, the green candle. How many pips did it move up? We, move, we are talking about almost 140 pips. 140 pips that the candle has moved and you are telling me that the trend is a friend. Even though you are now on a downtrend. Now, of course, what I'm trying to tell you in this video that you should always consider your entry point, that they, are sh they should be logic. Don't ever enter here thinking that the trend is a friend, meaning I should be always making profit. Now, uh, maybe you are telling me, come on, Salah, nobody will enter with the sell order on this support. Okay, let me follow with you. 
uh, for example you want to place sell here okay now yeah this is a downtrend and I want to place sell on this resistance here but the market has went up against me now I'm on the daily chart so how many pips are we talking about if I go against it we're talking about almost 50 pips the market has moved against me 50 pips and that is of course as we know it's really too much most of us will actually uh, close our trade in loss when this happen now let me see this on the one hour chart it was actually I think here uh, no it was not here actually one second yeah it was here sorry it was this one you can see how much this market is actually ranging especially when you see it on the one hour now let me tell you what kind of trend do you want to follow on this market when the market is, mo is moving in a so much ranging and zigzags like this now tell me exactly what kind of trend do you want to follow do you want to go with the downtrend but the market is moving up way too much and this downtrend has become an uptrend then suddenly when you when you figure this out and you want to follow it it's now a downtrend so you think okay now the market is actually changing maybe we have here head and shoulders so yeah the market should be going down but instead the trend has been broken out and now it's an uptrend so you think ah oh, okay so the market has been breaking out let me buy then what happened next is again we have a breakout so let, let me show you how many trends you had here that is insane following any trend here can actually ending in wiping your account because you can never guess when this market is going to reverse but but however however let me now go to the good part of this video now so who is your true friend let me go to the step number two support and resistance supply and demand now let's check this out if in this very same chart if you follow the trend you will actually you will screw up to be honest with you but however if you follow my rules and follow the support and resistance support and resistance is your only best and true friend that you will ever get in your trading journey so let me place a support or resistance line here now let's check how much this line or this level has been respected along this uh, massive or messed up chart so we have here a support this support after the breakout has become a resistance so we have attempt number two here and even attempt number three after the breakout this resistance has become the new support then there was the breakout and then the support has become a resistance with two attempts then we have here this resistance has become actually here we can see a small support and this support also became a resistance and this resistance kept the position as a resistance do you see what I'm trying to tell you that if you follow support and resistance rules the one you have seen in my videos you will actually find it very easy to read this market even though it's really messed up now this is a resistance line let me move it down to a support line now let's see this was a support here a support here as well and even here and now after the breakout it became a resistance after the resistance it has been breaking out and now it's becoming another support and it was here as a resistance and we see here the breakout this support became a resistance here and a resistance here after the breakout this resistance has become a support then another breakout do you see what I'm trying to tell you this support and resistance policy is the one who is truly your friend because if you follow my rules guys look at any resistance it will keep actually the position this very top edge here or the top of the wick of the resistance it it kept the position look at that check it out this top edge of the of the wick here it now still a resistance and after the massive breakout here it now became a support so even with this messed up chart I'm able to find a very good and decent levels where I can actually enter my trades 
I can actually enter my trades here and if I'm following the hit and run rules I will exit always with a profit because if you enter for example you place buy here now this resistance kept its, pos its position as a resistance now if you follow the rules when you place sell here you should exit at the nearest support which is here so if you place sell here and you exit right right here you will end up with 10 pips of profit which is fine so actually here support and resistance is your true friend but following the trend sorry did i say friend or trend support and resistance is your true is your true friend but if you follow the trend blindly just because i have seen videos on youtube for those who are teaching forex for the beginners they are just entering any trade blindly on uptrend or downtrend they just see a downtrend like that and they say guys you know the trend is a friend so i will just play a sell here and then he keep the trade running and running and running for for maybe hours or even days till it's finally becoming profit and that is quite risky um, i have seen that guy i don't know his name he entered the trade and he keep it running for almost a week just because he don't know exactly where to enter he just see an ad, a downtrend and he boom selling without being reasonable at all and that is what i really hate the most uh, pullbacks is what we have talking about here the momentum let's talk about the momentum the momentum is usually affected by the news so for example this uh, movement here we can see now on the euro AUD we had this movement but this movement usually affected by bad news for Europe or for uh, Australian dollar this is not normal you will not see this normally happening even here for example I'm sure there was some news that back then which I don't recall right now but using the currency strength will help you a lot just one second let me show it to you so this is the currency strength and this one is showing you the strength of the momentum of the trend so today the market was not moving quite uh, strongly actually but for example we have NZD as the strongest and we have the CAD as the weakest so most likely since we had NZD CAD now NZD is the strongest while CAD is the weakest so this pair should actually be now moving in a very strong momentum but the problem NZD is not very strong it's just 0 0.01 so I don't I'm not expecting uh, a lot but let's see because now it's actually 12 uh, uh, a.m. midnight I don't think the market will be in quite momentum right now yeah it's not in quite momentum at all uh, there was no news actually today only the for the pound but it was not that strong so today the currency strength was not very effective but you can go back to my uh, previous videos where I show how to use this currency strength and it is showing you clearly how to actually uh, use it and I actually showed you how is how the market is really obeying what you are seeing there when uh, euro JPY for example euro JPY when the euro was the strongest and the JPY was the weakest the market was going up like crazy because the euro is the strongest while JPY is the weakest now let me talk about the most important thing the proper money management that is your true friend this is the true friend you need to get along with unfortunately some people thinking that learning learning a strategy is more than enough for them to be profitable in forex that is a very wrong statement the strategy is never enough you always need to prepare for the losses there is not a single strategy in this world that can give you a hundred percent winning ratio that is in your dreams if it exists i will not just be a billionaire i will own the whole world i can i will uh, smash the broker i mean that is impossible you always have to be pre to prepare for the losses any strategy in this world it has a winning ratio and we when we say 75 winning ratio that is actually pretty good it means that you can lose actually 
almost three out of ten threads and that is very normal you can you can make it actually two out of two of, out of ten threads but again if you entering big lot or full lot of your money of your uh, account you can never succeed no matter what good strategy you have it will never work if you are not having a proper money management you always need to consider the losses that this thread might lose so it will not blow your account that is my message for you guys which I really wanted to share with you because I want you to think about this statement here your true friend is the momentum meaning when the market actually going up because of high impact news for example uh, the brexit is the best example we can bring here the brexit when it happened the market the gpp went down like sinking like titanic like there was no tomorrow so many people who, ha who have sold uh, gpp at in that time they actually got rich they entered at it's not it wasn't really important the level they entered with the sell order because the momentum was really strong the pound was falling and sinking so it just kept going down and more down support and resistance the pullbacks the pullbacks is the reversals the pullbacks is actually the reversals when you mark your support and resistance so if you follow the hit and run rules it doesn't really matter for example let me just tell you this is a this is a resistance and this is just a pullback then the market continue to go more up so if you follow hit and rules uh, sorry <laughs> hit and rules hit and run rules you enter here at the top of this resistance you exit your trade at the nearest support or resistance which is right here so you can actually get out with decent amount of profit uh, with about 15 pips of profit that is what i'm trying to tell you if you follow hit and run rules you will always be in profit and that is your best friend guys to follow support and resistance to follow the power or the strength of the, of the currency to find the pullbacks and always use a proper money management i don't want to make this a long video i just had to explain this part that never ever just follow the trend blindly just because it's a trend and you thinking that the trend is your friend the trend is never your friend is not the friend you need what you need is these five elements apply them and follow them and you will be uh, hopefully successful in your trading journey so guys i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching